So I'm very interested in doing research which may indicate this um, characteristic of the use of psychedelics. And in my um, mind, I think LSD is particularly interesting because it's so clear. It's very much a cognitive enhancer. It kind of opens up and expands your cognitive abilities, in my opinion. Um, and therefore, it, it um, both for kind of mystical experience and creativity, I think it, it can be an incredible substance, useful substance. Therefore, I want to see, I would love to be able to do more research, you know, do what I'm doing with um, the wonderful team at Imperial, but also do other studies um, like with, uh, I'm planning with alcohol uh, addiction, treating alcohol, I'm working with an American um, scientist, and there are all sorts of other, and then working with old age um, is another research project I'm very interested in. I, I work in Russia with a leading, um, probably one of the world's leading experts on cerebral circulation. And um, the problems that, which come with dementia as the as cerebral circulation diminishes in activity and ways in which one can um, stimulate a more healthy cerebral circulation, which then avoids these plaque building up which form Alzheimer's. It's all very, very fascinating and it's a very big landscape, but these compounds have a, a place where they can um, be valuable in use in many different areas. And society made a terrible mistake by panicking and criminalizing them. They must be treated with respect, you know, they, they don't want to be misused because they are powerful. But um, they should be treated with respect and um, used optimally in many different ways they can be. I mean, one way is obviously within the medical healing um, profession, and that's an extremely important way to develop. And in a way, that is the easiest to develop because, um, I mean, like in America, um, post-traumatic stress disorder from soldiers returning from war is costing the American government billions a year, and there's a very high suicide rate. Um, so if these compounds can be shown that they aid the, psycho, uh, the um, therapeutic process and help people overcome their post-traumatic stress disorder and get to a position where they can live with it comfortably, that's an amazing, um, it has an economic value to the government. So they can see, gosh, we should stop the probe, you know, we should permit this research to happen. And so hopefully, and um, depression is becoming, I think, one of the major costs. And age-related disorders as the population gets older. And it's all of these areas where these compounds are so valuable because, in my opinion, they basically are, for, are affecting cerebral circulation in ways which can help us combat. So there's, there's two areas. One is combat, combating negative illness and disease and uh, old age and all of these things. And the other is positive gift of increased um, sensitivity, enjoyment, appreciation of beauty, visual, auditory, taste, emotional relationships. They're, they're, they're valuable compounds because what they can do within the brain can be a very positive gift for both the individual and therefore for society. And we need, through the very best science, 
but also individuals, um, learn how to use and benefit from these compounds.